All right, just a quick update. I've started coil winding. Um, I would highly recommend against a first timer winding coils using 14 gauge. It is extremely stiff and it's hard to keep the form uh, as square as possible in the middle. As you can see, the farther out I get, the more round it gets. And it's just, it's impossible once you get out to here for it to not be square shaped like the center. Um, I think somewhere in the 16 to 18 gauge range, it, it gets much easier. Uh, but I'm following the Hupago uh, method. Uh, the metric book said to use 14 gauge. The English version book said to use uh, 15 gauge. Uh, I'm not sure which one's right, but I had already bought all my supplies under the metric version, so I've got 14 gauge. Anyway, this one is finished. It fits in there right. There is still a gap between this magnet. Um, you can go all the way to almost touching it from what I understand. Um, I started off winding a two in hand, um, shooting for 77 turns, and I gave up at 68 turns, and it was right at the edge of being too big, and it was quite unruly. It's very hard to keep the two 14 gauge uh, wires together. But that was for 24 volts, so I had to change my game plan a little bit, and now I'm back to 48 volts, and that's a single strand. 110 turn coil. Um, this thing weighs about a pound and a quarter. It's quite a bit of copper. Um, so my original game plan was to use no batteries and a grid time inverter and now I'm gonna have a 48 volt battery bank that I will charge and have essentially no load uh, nothing pulling from the batteries. It's just a uh, clamping device um, and then I will use my Xantrex C40 as a load controller um, once the battery bank voltage gets to about 53 volts it will turn on my grid tie inverter uh, which will be tied to the batteries as well um, that way the batteries will still clamp the uh, turbine and I won't exceed the 60 volt on the grid time inverter. And since there's no load on the batteries, they, it should stay in load mode uh, pretty much constantly. So that's the plan. Uh, I may end up having to buy a second C40 and using it as a dump controller, but we'll see. So one down, eight more coils to go. Uh, that one took probably two hours. <laughs> All right, more to come.